Well, hello everyone, Texy88 here, and welcome to another review. And now, once again, I subject my sanity and your viewing cathartic pleasure with yet another abysmal NES title from the, the Action 52 cartridge. And as you saw at the beginning of this review, albeit briefly, this is one of the few games on this cartridge that actually has a title screen proper and not just this boring text. Because just before this you saw that brief picture of the two soldiers facing each other. The one, one of whom bears a more than passing resemblance to a certain Saddam Hussein. Yes. So, um, 1991, that was actually a bit topical, as there was a bit of a Gulf War around that sort of time. So, a little bit in poor taste, this game. But, enough of that, we're, on, we're here to look at the game itself, and I'm really not looking forward to this. So, we control this grey tank, and we're up against pink tanks. Yeah. Susie. So, would people really drive around in pink tanks? My goodness, there's actually animation on the Caterpillar tracks. Oh, did you see that? There was a tank over, over on the right there. That... Oh, that tank exploded just by touching me. Your tank's so slow, it's quite hard to actually go get yourself in line with a no, with a tank to get oh, a, a very gigantic Saddam Hussein just ran into me and and spontaneously combusted and that glitched. What if wait a minute? If this is storm over the desert, why is there grass everywhere? I mean I know it's sand here, but that previous screen was all grass. Oh, now I'm, oh god, how was I meant to get that one at the bottom of the screen? He barely gave me a chance to react to his, his presence even being there. Oh, so people explode if you hit, if you shoot them, okay. Oh god. Well, that tank was going sideways. And that one. Why are their tanks pink? I mean, it's not exactly. <laughs> it is absolutely, absolutely stupid. Uh. Oh, so I can't shoot them, Saddam Hussein. God, that's all. How was I meant to get that? <laughs> Do you see another tank going sideways? No. Why are there two Saddam Husseins? Yeah. Oh, more tanks going sideways. Like, <laughs> God bloody hell. Is this... How was I meant to get that? And then, in the top, near the top right corner, just a few moments ago, there was that tank that very briefly mysteriously appeared and, and was facing upwards, so I, did, so I didn't stand a chance of getting it. And another thing, this is another case of the enemies coming out of nowhere. What? I hit that thing. That bullet clearly went straight through it, that tank. What? Again, I hit that. God. Okay. So can I actually die in this? I mean, I've had two tanks just run straight into me and, and spontaneously combust, and even that, even that person just exploded just for just as he touched my tank. That flickered a bit just then. Goodness me. At least we're actually in a desert this time. Oh my god. This is absolute nonsense. I presume... How was I meant to react to that? It's just suddenly appeared in front of me. Does it actually show your... No, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to show your score anywhere on the screen. Oh, goodness me. I hit that. Oh. 
again, another tank that I couldn't possibly have hit. I'm surprised that my tank actually makes any sound. Oh god. It... What? So they can go right through those. Hey, what? Oh, be consistent. Why are these soldiers run into my tank spontaneously combusting? Is my tank electrified or something? Oh, God. I can't believe they're actually asking me to shoot soldiers. This is so boring. You can get bored just waiting for a tank to be in the right place so you actually stand a decent chance of being able to shoot the damn so yeah, I couldn't I can't get that because your tank's so slow and they're absolutely motor along. And another tank I couldn't probably got in the bottom left corner there. And I'm asking again, can you actually die in this? I've lost count of the number of times that a tank or a person's touched my tank and oh my god that does look silly and uh, and i i haven't even and i'm even died i mean i can't even see an energy bar or flickery or what oh god i really hope those people aren't, aren't actually um, damaging my tank just by walking into there because that would be even more stupid Oh dear me. What? I hit that. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Can I actually be asked to finish a game? For goodness sake, to finish a game of this. I mean, I'm, I seem to be nigh on invincible. Oh, how was I supposed to get that? You don't get enough time to react. The tanks just come out of nowhere. What? Oh, this is silly. Oh. And you, you can only fire one bullet at a time. You can't actually fire another one until the previous one's disappeared. I'm sure I hit that tank. Yeah, it does get pretty boring waiting for a tank to be in line with you, so you actually stand a chance of being able to move your smooth your tank's slow backside in order to get in a position to shoot it. Because of course you you can't actually go diagonally in this. Oh my god, look at that. Why are the tanks that they drive pink? What? How can a person walking through a tank blow me up? That makes absolutely no sense. Oh my god. Oh, half of these tanks, I've got no chance of getting because they, they appear right next to the edge of the screen and are facing it, so they disappear before I even have the remotest chance of being able to hit them. So you'd be playing this for hours if you don't die, because it just takes so long to to be before you actually get a tank that you can realistically hit. Oh god! <laughs> and these tanks just come out of nowhere half the time, like that one. Did that just come out of the sand or something? Oh my god. Bloody hell, how many Saddam Husseins are there? I'm sure cloning didn't exist in 1991. Oh, I have no chance of getting that. Yeah, you really don't want to be playing this. It's absolutely awful. And, and I hit that guy and you know it. Oh, 
look at it, it's so drab. Oh god. I had no chance of being able to avoid that. What? I hit that! Oh, another tank that just blinked out of nowhere because it appeared right next to the edge of the screen and was facing the edge of the screen. actually really surprised that all the levels look different in this. In a lot of the other games it's just the same shit. Uh, I'm also, also even more amazed that my tank actually makes a sound. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The blooming tiny little men are more dangerous than the actual tanks. <laughs> Another tank that I couldn't possibly have got. Uh, I wonder how many uh, Amiga owners had some NES only friends who had Action 52 and had games like this. Uh, this shown uh, shown to them by their NES loving counter counterparts and isn't this a great game and uh, and the Amiga Love player and it was like no I mean 1991 was the same year that the Amiga got lemmings for god's sake that's more fun in the sp in the space of a second than this is in one minute and then where did that guy go Oh, for God's sake, one bullet wouldn't kill a tank. Another tank that came out of nowhere. Why can you only fire one bullet at a time? It's irritating. Oh, goodness me. Again, I, I get whacked into by a, a tiny little soldier that came out of nowhere. Can this level just end already? This is boring. I'm sure I hit that guy. I'd actually rather be playing the Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man than this. If you want an idea of how bad that port, uh, the port of Pac-Man is, just look at my review that I did of it earlier this year. Even allowing for, even allowing for its for its, limita its limitations of the 2600, it was still pretty bad, but it was a lot more playable than this. Gracious, this is so horrible. Ugh. Oh, goodness me. What the hell? These tanks just drive around in an arbitrary manner. They have no clue about how. Oh, God. What? Oh, I thought I was going to... Oh, yeah, I was really going to get that. Oh, look, look, half these tanks I can't get because they just come out of nowhere and, and you don't get time to... Oh, for God's sake. How many levels are there? Goodness sake. Every time I want to... Oh, shut up. I get killed by a tank going sideways. Oh, 
look at this, it's utterly stupid. Oh my god. See, this is so boring. You just have more from the not, you're just waiting for a tank to be realistically in line with you so you stand a chance of hitting the blessed thing. And hoping you don't get killed by a tiny little man who just fires one bullet at you or, or just scrapes your tank's paintwork and, and blows up your tank. Oh, God. Oh. How much longer is this going to go on for? See how the hell is I meant to get that? Mm, can I fire one bullet at a time? And that one. Oh god, I had no that was in line with me, but I had zero chance of reacting to it. See so, look half well, of these tanks disappear right next to the edge of the screen. And disappear before you even have a chance to register that they've even appeared. This is so boring. End the level already. Oh god. I'm sure around this sort of time in, uh, in gaming history, the NES had a really superb, if balls hard, Batman game. Wanna show, show off an NES? Put that on, not this. In fact, avoid Action 52 altogether because everything about it is a part of complete and utter crud. Touch me. Hit detection, this is pretty pants. Oh, give me a minute, I couldn't have got that. Oh, come off it. End this bloody level. It's the same tedious shit anyway. Oh, I can't be bothered to play this anymore. This is just boring. That storm over the desert. A dull sh um, tank shooter with, uh, with little to no variation in gameplay and stupid mechanics that make the means that the game will take way too long to complete and that's if there even is an ending. I'd, I'd believe there is, but I get the feeling it will be another of those which um, in which the game just sends you back to level one and, and you have the pleasure of going through all that again. Well, sod that!
graphics as usual are uh, not not up to standards for 1991. Everything everything about them is just screams very basic. And who drives around in pink tanks for goodness sake? That can't be a very good effective way of camouflage. Um, I, the sound is just bangs and bullets and and that uh, do sound if your tank blows up. God. That's it. There's no music whatsoever in this, so it totally lacks any kind of atmosphere and gameplay boring as hell. Your tank's so slow that it's it's not only impossible to hit half the tanks, partly because your tank's so slow and they're faster than yours, and partly because they just have this penchant for just appearing out of nowhere, quite often in the places where they where they've got absolutely zero chance of hitting them because you can't get yourself lined up with them correctly. And you get caught unawares because you get super distracting things like the tanks being able to move sideways, where of course you and through obstacles like these block things, which of course you can't go through half the time. Not as particularly consistent as you saw earlier, because you saw me drive straight through that one on that earlier level. But apart from me, above all, it just takes way too long to get anywhere. And that's if you can even be bothered to keep playing for long enough, which unfortunately I can't because this is a big snooze fest. One out of ten for Storm Over the Desert on the NES Action 52 cartridge. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Texie88 out.